What is happening agents? This is your boy infamous trickster and I hope you guys are doing alright today. In this video I'm going to be talking about two talents that work so well together alongside a gear set and everything just synergizes very well together. I'm going to be breaking down the weapons that I'm using, the gear and the gear set and skills as well. So let's get into it here. So first and foremost I am currently rocking the Chatterbox SMG, which is an exotic SMG. On here we've got 11% SMG damage, 15% critical hit chance, and 9% critical hit damage. Now the talent on the Chatterbox is a really nice one. When you reload, rate of fire is increased by 20% for each enemy within 15 meters for the duration of that magazine. Now this talent stacks up to 5 times kills refill 50% of your magazine so the idea with this weapon is you want to try to not reload as much as possible now for me starting off using this weapon I am a chronic reloader so that was very difficult so it's just a uh, mind over matter and you kind of just have to remember that you're not supposed to reload each time you get a kill so that's for the SMG second one I'm using here isn't necessarily meant for this build because like I said you're not really switching away from the chatterbox often but I am using a tsunami shotgun uh, so it's got 12% shotgun damage 10% damage to armor and 4.3 rate of fire now the talent on here is perfect pummel two consecutive kills refills the magazine and grants 40% weapon damage for 10 seconds but like I said this gun isn't really used anything specifically it's just something that I put on the build and same thing for the sidearm so this is a desert eagle we're looking at pistol damage 9% and 8% critical hit damage Optimus is the talent weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine so let's break down the gear here so I am currently rocking four piece of the system corruption set so I'm gonna explain to you what this gear set does so for the two piece we're looking at 15 percent armor on kill the three piece gives us 40 percent for disrupt resistance and pulse resistance and the four piece is what's really nice with this build that i've made here so it's called hack step protocol replaces armor kits with an instant infinite use ability on a 20 second cooldown that repairs 20% armor grants 50% bonus armor and hides your nameplate for 5 seconds also increases total weapon damage by 1% per 5 bonus armor gained up to 20% now I'm going to explain to you more of why this is important here uh, when I get into the talents that I have on my chest piece and the backpack so for the mask, we currently have stats at 11.3 weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage, and 5.1 critical hit chance. I'm going to show you guys the rest of the gear set that I'm using. This is the second piece of the uh, system corruption that I'm using. This one has 11.5 weapon damage and 11.7 critical hit damage. The third piece we're currently using has armor. 146,000 armor and 7.8 explosive resistance now eventually I want to be able to maybe put damage on here max it out or maybe max out the armor that I can on here I haven't really min max this build or anything like that yet but I uh, just wanted to make sure that you guys are aware that this does actually exist and the last piece that we're using is the knee pads this is the fourth piece of the four piece set currently using armor at 156,000 and 11.9 critical hit damage so let's get into the talents on the backpack and the chest piece so the backpack we're currently using a group of sombra one piece of equipment gives 15% critical hit damage which is nice the core attributes on here 11.9 weapon damage 5.6 critical hit chance 10.6 critical hit damage and I couldn't re-roll anything else on here because I threw bloodsucker on here so this is just 9.8 skill haste now bloodsucker is a really really cool 
talent. Um, I was wanting to build, make this build before, but I couldn't find the right pieces and I had to kind of make do with what I had at the time. But uh, now that I've got majority of the pieces that I'm looking for, I figured I might as well make the build video for you. So, Bloodsucker, killing an enemy adds and refreshes a stack of 10% bonus armor for 10 seconds. Now this stacks up to 10 times. Now, this whole build is based off of bonus armor. So I'm going to show you guys the talent on my chest piece now. So the chest piece we're currently using a Sokolov. And it's got 10% SMG damage just for the chatterbox, of course. We're looking at 10.5 weapon damage, 5.5 weapon handling, 5.9 critical hit chance, and 5% critical hit chance for the mod slot. Now, the talent on here is what really pulls everything together here. So it's Intimidate. While you have bonus armor, amplifies total weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. So all of everything that I've been talking about so far has been about bonus armor. So just imagine how much damage that is each time I'm getting a kill with Bloodsucker. On top of Bloodsucker, we also have the four-piece set of Hackstep Protocol, and this is giving us also bonus armor. So it's just bonus armor on top of bonus armor, and the damage is actually insane. So I'm going to be showing you guys a clip of uh, a quick run-through of uh, Lincoln Memorial. Just to show you guys how quick this is. I think it's about 10 minutes to run itself. So, show you guys the skills that I'm using. So, I'm currently using a Crusader Ballistic Shield. So, the Crusader Shield allows primary weapons, excluding light machine guns and marksman rifles, to be used while it's equipped, but exposes the agent's legs. So, the cooldown on here is 18 seconds. Health is at 2.7 million. Active regeneration is at 51,000 holster regeneration at 79,000. Now it gives 30% active regeneration, 100% shield health, and 15% holstered regeneration. And the skill that I'm using, I am currently using the Artificer Hive. The Artificer Hive sends out micro electro booster drones that expend themselves to increase allied skills efficiency and refresh their duration. Periodically releases a drone while holstered this drone affects only your skills. Now, this is part of my shield build that I made uh, a little while ago. It's just a refresher for the shield so that it doesn't get uh, damaged or taken down too easily. Like I did mention, I am in the technician specialization. Now, the reason why I'm in this technician specialization is primarily because of Amped. The passive talent which gives one skill tier for free and the artificer hive as well okay now there's a few things that are okay in this build as well in this specialization the 10 percent skill healing which is what the artificer does and bonus armor while aiming a skill all right so that's pretty much it for the build guys um I haven't mentioned this before in my videos, but I am on Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Time. So definitely drop by and uh, check me out on the stream. Uh, I usually showcase a lot of my builds that I do. So definitely check out my stream and uh, yeah, you'll see how a lot of the stuff works in real time. Alright, so I'm going to end the video with a bit of gameplay to show you guys how quickly you can actually burn through enemies with this build. Uh, this is actually my new farming build because uh, you're able to clear content very quickly with it. Okay, so definitely subscribe to the channel guys. I appreciate all the love so far, but uh, if you have not subscribed yet, definitely do that right now. Uh, like this video if you found it helpful and uh, leave any comments in the section below and let me know if you guys have used this or you have any variations that you feel work better. Alright, so I will catch you guys in the next video. Until then, Infamous Trickster out. Secure the memorial and remove the True Sun's forces. 
they maintain this outpost, the True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus. Hey! Come! Additional hostiles in the memorial compound. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. It looks closed from here. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate. What the? be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. Over here! No, it can't be! Ah! 
Damn it. The truce has turned the memorial into a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. just ID those shells as chemical weapons. We can't afford to let the true sons escape with those. You gotta find a way to close up that tunnel. I saw someone! Check it out. According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those mortars loaded with DC-62. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. You think closing the tunnel is smart? Fuck you! You flush yourself in with us! I'll make sure you rot down here! Like 
Good work. Go on ahead back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Hostile radio intercepted. Keener, I've infiltrated the outcasts. When they saw the Eclipse virus, how could they resist? Great, you're all set. Infamous Trickster Gaming.